What's up, y'all? It's Timmy. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you from the Descend on Ben Van Life Festival down to Moab, Utah, where we start getting into some four wheeling. So let's do it. Welcome to Truck House Life, baby. <laughs> At the Descend on Ben Gathering Festival, whatever, I got to meet a lot of cool people, including some of the people in the band. They gave me a bunch of music, which is awesome, because I need road trip music. We are here in Adele, Oregon, out in the Oregon Outback. It's pretty wicked, uh, just out in the middle of nowhere. Fuel is uh, cheaper out here. It's the cheapest diesel I've seen in the US, actually, in the middle of nowhere. You go figure. Uh, I filled up here because the next gas is approximately 100 miles, it sounded like, so I was going to run out. <laughs> yeah, the smoke's so bad, I'm still sneezing. I've got another almost 800 miles until I get to Moab, but we'll see how far I get today. I still have to clean the camper. Next gas, 100 miles. We made it to Nevada, Nevada, Nevada. However you say it, we're there. I don't know how far I'm gonna make it tonight, but let's keep pressing on. Uh, we're about 20 miles away from Winnemucca, Nevada, Nevada. I don't know how to pronounce anything here. Uh, as soon as I get there, I'm gonna try to find a car wash and a laundromat and a shower and take advantage of all three of those. Because I'm filthy, this truck's filthy, and. My clothes are filthy, so yeah. We're currently passing through the, uh, what are they called? The, the Utah salt flats, I'm assuming. There's salt everywhere. Extra flat, extra salty looking. Looks like the playa, almost. Looking crazy. Rolling up into Salt Lake City. I see the skyscrapers. You know what the crazy part is? It's still smoky out here. This entire lower 40 drive, ever since I went south of Portland, been in the smoke whole time almost we're closing in we get about let's say 180 miles to moab i think yeah 180 miles to moab cutting through the mountains so we're climbing up this mountain pass this is the first red rock i have seen officially pretty cool Maybe a hundred miles from Moab, maybe less. Uh, we're in Price Canyon, I think it's called. There's a really cool creek down here. I don't know if you can kayak the thing, but I freaking see whitewater down there. They got all canyon out back there. Look at that. It's really tiny, but I bet you can pack raft it or kayak it. I'm starting to see more cool uh, off-road rigs and overland rigs and people with campers and side by sides. I'm seeing like more of that the closer I get to Moab out here, so I'm starting to get excited. All right, we are getting pretty close to Moab. I'd say we got about a uh, half an hour, maybe. Maybe a little further, I can't remember.
Oh, the anticipation. We are seven miles from Moab. We're almost up there. I cannot wait. So I've got a lot of fun stuff I'm up to out here. I don't have enough time here. There's so much I want to do, but I've got some pretty fun ideas I'm pretty stoked about. So I'm looking forward to taking you guys out there with me. Whoa, this is so cool. Check it. Yeah. This looks like Mars. This looks so incredibly foreign to me. This is awesome though. Coming up into downtown Moab, I might go swing by uh, the Moab Brewery. I've heard it's pretty good. I kind of feel like a beer right now to celebrate being here. Kind of stoked. This is so touristy. It's almost cheesy. I'm just excited to go do all the outdoor stuff here. All right, all right, I'm heading up to the Sand Flats recreation site, I think. It's uh, basically where Hell's Revenge starts. But we're gonna go try a trail tomorrow. This is gonna be good, I hope. It uh, turns out it's really hard to find free camping in Moab, so I'm not even gonna try it tonight. I'm just gonna go get a spot and uh, that way I can start my day right there. I have to drive like pretty much 10 to 11 miles outside of town to get to a free spot, so that's like, what, two gallons of gas round trip? So I could have pretty much paid for camping. All right, we're passing by the old Sand Hill Cemetery or whatever it is here. Going right up here about a mile or so and then we'll be at the trailhead. I camped here one time with my old man when we did uh, the Fins and Things trail in his Jeep. And uh, it's a cool spot. I mean, I'm gonna have to pay for it, but I'm also gonna spend probably $10 driving my truck outside of town to go camp anyway. So I'm just gonna camp right here in a really sweet spot. You can't really see it, but Moab is uh, directly in the sun over there. Maybe you guys can see. Oh no, it's down at the base of that valley. And there's all the trails up there. Looking pretty sweet. Cool. We just paid, we're gonna go right up the road and find a camping spot here. It's beautiful up here. Like right at sundown too, it's perfect. Let's try some of these trails tomorrow. Look at that slick, look at that black tire mark going up that one. Maybe we'll try it with the camper. It's like the prettiest camping I've ever seen in my life, a lot of this stuff, pretty sweet. Backyard of Moab, there's baby lions back or something up there. Gorgeous day. Side by sides everywhere. So we found our camping spot, this is it. Gorgeous evening, golden hour. Let's get the drone out really quick and fly up here before it's too late. for a quick sunset ride, might have missed it. So I haven't told you guys, but I think in the morning, I'm gonna go up the road and we're gonna attempt this infamous Slick Rock Trail on this thing and see what happens. But uh, that's tomorrow. Right now we're gonna go up this hill, which actually looks like it's not gonna work. We're gonna try it anyway. Oh, the hill is bigger than it looks. I'm in shape. Can't breathe. So cool. Bumps still get a little bit rowdy. Yeah. Turns out one was not very good. You climb and see stuff. I'm also realizing I'm used to sea level, live at sea level like literally 17 feet above sea level. This is pretty high up, I'm definitely out of breath.
little guided tour coming out of Hell's Revenge, the Sunset Tour. See how those people got their money's worth. Now you guys probably can't tell, but this is like really steep and my shoes are totally sticking to it. It's pretty crazy. Sundown, we camp all set up here. I think what I'm gonna do is wake up tomorrow and just check out the trail, uh, the Hell's Revenge trail on the one wheel here and see if it's possible with the truck. And if it is, then I'll take the camper off and leave it here and go try to drive it. So I think that's what's going to happen. But uh, what do I gotta do? I should probably charge the one wheel up here and uh, charge all the camera batteries and whatnot and cook some dinner. All right, we are dropping down into the town of Moab right now. I camped out on sand flats up the hill last night, figure out what trail I'm gonna do. I just walked Hell's Revenge a little bit. Uh, I could probably do it, but I also really don't want to tear this truck up. And uh, at the exit of Hell's Revenge, I immediately saw something I'm going to rub and probably catch uh, my flatbed bumper on, which, uh, which would totally get torn up actually. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys to my favorite place to eat in Moab, Utah, Milt's over here. This classic American burger shape set up. Everything with the one. Get ourselves some food for the road. And I think we're gonna go check out Long Canyon, so I gotta look that up and see where it's at. Just offloading some stuff on the computer so I got room to film today. Getting some burgers over here. Burger looks pretty good. Check it. And milkshake. Milkshakes are awesome here, by the way. Mm, mm hmm they're good. I think we're gonna go check out Jim and I Bridges here. And well, is, that's a wrap, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, y'all.